Hey everybody, it's uh, Baseball435 back, and I'm here with another with the second video of the Java tutorials. And um, I said that we're going to do uh, key presses today and checking for key presses, but I realized we had to do a little bit more first. <coughs> um, so what we're going to do in this lesson is we are going to create a player class for the player to move around, stuff like that, and we're also going to add a timer so that the frame, the window, uh, re-updates every certain amount of milliseconds. Um, so let's start with that. So first, one, we're going to need to add a new timer variable. So we're going to do timer uh, main timer equals new. Uh, actually, okay, we're going to do timer main timer, all right? And then you're going to have to import timer from the Java X swing. Make sure it's this one, not any of the others. Um, and then come into the uh, constructor and do main timer equals new timer 10 comma this and now what this is doing alright oh yes we have to um, up here it says public class game from extends jpanel uh, for any timer we have to implement or implement uh, action listener so now we're gonna have to add in uh, a function or method and that is called the action perform method, which is where um, all the code will happen uh, with the main timer. Every uh, let me explain the timer first. Um, right here, uh, the first parameter is how many seconds you want the timer to run, or how many milliseconds. So we're going to leave it at 10 milliseconds. And then the li this is just for uh, to call this class, like this class is uh, action perform method. So when the timer is called, um, it's going to call this method right here every 10 milliseconds. So one thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to repaint, which is a function that comes with the uh, J panel, so it's going to repaint the window every 10 milliseconds. And eventually we're going to put like a, to check for like the key presses in here and um, stuff like that, and to update the player, stuff like that. Um, next we're going to create the uh, player class. Um, so I'm going to name it, um, actually let me, let me um, I'm going to make a class called Entity. And what this, go this is going to do is it's going to um, hold each uh, type of uh, object with um, <coughs> with an, like coordinates like x and y and health and stuff like that. So um, we're going to do public entity uh, int x comma int y. And um, what we're doing right now is we're creating a new class with an entity with a constructor. We're going to have to take in uh, two parameters, the x and y coordinates. Um, and then we're going to set them to uh, to the classes uh, x and y. So we're going to do this dot x equals x and this dot y equals y. Um, the reason I'm putting x or this dot is because um, if the two parameters are the same, if you just do this, it's just going to think that you're doing x equals x. It's not going to think it's not going to take this parameter or this variable. It's just going to use this parameter. So we have to do uh, this in front of it. It's only when they have the same name, though. So we put like x x, we could just do x equals x x, and we get no problem with that. But um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Uh, and then we're gonna add in two methods. We're gonna add in the public void update, and that's where everything's gonna update. And public void draw, and the draw method's gonna take in the graphics 2D, and um. That's where we're gonna uh, draw everything for the player, like the players, like pictures, stuff like that. And now um, we'll go into here, and in the constructor, you want to add a new entity. Oh wait, we're gonna create the player class next. But um, yes, yeah, so let's do that now. Uh, go in here and create a new class. Uh, we're gonna name it player this time, and we're gonna do extends entity. <coughs> so we're gonna have to add the constructor, and then. So now this is all set up for us. We don't have to do. We don't have to add all of these methods already there. Like we could just like call update uh, inside of this method. Oops. Inside of this method, update, and we get no error because it's extending the entity class, which is right here, the update method. So um, then we're gonna uh, we're actually gonna edit the update method. So we're gonna do public void update, and then public void draw because we're going to have to draw our own stuff into there. Um, so import the graphics to the... and um, yeah, so now we're going to 
go to, back to the game frame, and we're going to create a new player. So we're up here, we're going to click, we're going to type player, player, and then we'll initialize it down here. So player, um, player equals new player, and then the x and y coordinates, which is the uh, parameters. So we're just going to do 100 by 100. So now, um, for f just to do things earlier, um, we're going to put the, we're going to take this stuff out. Actually, I'm going to copy and paste this. Uh, we're going to create a new method in the player class to uh, get the player image. So we're going to do, um, we'll just do public, public void, no, public image get player image. And it's going to take no parameters. And then we're going to paste this into here. So, um, hold on a sec. I'll explain this in a second. Hold on. All right. So what we just did was we took the um, we took the image that we had, the image variable that we had right here. We took that and we put it into the player. So um, what this is going to do, it's practically going to give us the player image. It's going to make it easier for us. We want to type two lines every single time we want to get the player image or use it. Um, so then we could just do, for example, we could do g two d dot draw image, and then we can do get player image because the first parameter of uh, of this method is the uh, image and then the x is going to be x comma y and then comma null so what this is doing is it's first it's it, this method's going to draw the image to the screen so uh, we're going to get the player image first parameter is an image and we're going to get that by using this me this method which makes things easier on us we don't have to have these two lines in here or anything and then um, the next two uh, parameters are the x and y coordinates. So the first one is the x and that is going to come from right here. And uh, we specify that as 100 for the x and 100 for the y. And then the null is the uh, image observer which is just going to be the normal window. And um, yeah, so if we would put in, let's go back to here, if we did um, player.draw and then we use the the parameter for the player.draw method is uh, graphics2d, which comes straight from this method. So we have to call it inside of here and then use this variable for in here. So then um, uh, it should update, or it should draw the player to the screen. And if we run it, let's see. There we go, 100 by 100. And uh, then you could edit that, you know, uh, so we could do 500 by 100, etc. And um, yes, yeah, so that's our player class. It's kind of simple. Um, we're gonna put the update stuff in here next. Uh, actually, maybe we can do the. Yeah, we can do the um, keys really quick. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new class called. <coughs> we're just gonna name it Key Adapt for now. And we're gonna do public void Key Adapt. Um, and then we're going to do, I think it's implements, uh, key adapter, I think. Hmm. Let me check up on that really quick. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it's not actually implements, it's extends. So um, that should work then. Then you should import it automatically if you have Eclipse, that is. And um, then we're going to add in two methods, public void key pressed. And it's going to take the parameter key event. E, and then we're just going to copy and paste this, and we're going to name it released. So we're going to have to import these, <coughs> and um, then we're going to have to actually we're going to have to take in a player parameter. Um, I'll explain why in a second when everything makes more sense. And uh, we're going to have to add a new variable player p, and then we're going to do p equals player, and then. What we're going to have to do with this is we're going to add in two new methods for the player class. We're going to add in public uh, void key pressed. Oh, actually, we can just uh, copy and paste it. Because it's the same exact methods, actually. Um, Alright. Key pressed and key released. And then you should have these two methods in here now. Same exact ones from the key adapt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do p dot 
key uh, released and then we're going to put E as a parameter and then P dot key pressed and E as a parameter and um, then from there we're going to check if a key is pressed so we would do um, what is it well first we're going to add in um, we're going to add the uh, key listener so we're going to do set or no add key listener um, new key adapt and then we're actually going to put this below the player because it takes in the player variable or parameter um, then we're going to do player so then you should get no freaking errors hold on a second oh I did public void my bad public key adapt and um, yeah so now this should work and um, I'm actually running out of time so in the next video I'm going to show you how to check for key presses like the uh, W key or the up key and uh, move the image around and stuff like that so um, yeah thanks for watching uh, I'll be out with a video shortly uh, yeah comment rate and subscribe